Hey everyone, it's Erin Flutter here and I am here today to do a wellness check-in. February didn't go well, March is going better, but mostly today I'm going to set up my Peloton tracking. So if you don't know what Peloton is, it is a stationary bike that has a screen and does the spin classes and all that kind of stuff. They do live and they do recorded spin classes. And my husband and I decided to get one. Um, we had some funding help when it came to that and my husband was a big big advocate for it. So we, we decided to get a Peloton. I need to make some sort of tracking situation for that. Sorry that you can see my uh, thumb has been through the ringer. Um, the half of the nail got torn off while I was doing the bathroom remodel that we did. Well, shower remodel, I should say. So anyways, so I'm going to set this up and I'll have me over in this corner uh, talking about wellness things. And uh, yeah, that's how it's going to go today because why not? I'm hoping that this uh, video can help any of you that are struggling with any sort of wellness journey that you were on. Um, talk about my journey and how that may help you guys. So uh, I had some pretty, um, I wouldn't say it was like a huge thing that happened in my personal life, but it was definitely something um, that I was not expecting and it impacted my personal life, which uh, then transferred over to impacting my wellness journey. So I'm not really going to talk about that, but I just kind of want to talk about what happens when something throws you for a loop and now you have to struggle to figure out where you go from here, how you're going to adapt, what you're going to do. Because now with the coronavirus, I know a lot of people are having to struggle to adapt and uh, continue on with their lives, continue on with trying to take care of themselves both mentally and physically while they are quarantined or um, in isolation or uh, they are socially distancing themselves from others. A lot of that is very taxing on the body and on the brain. So even before coronavirus took a large effect here in the United States, I was having some personal issues that kind of threw me from my wellness journey. So the biggest thing is that in February, it was just a total mess. <laughs> I went on vacation. It was my husband's birthday. So, uh, Super Bowl happened, all that kind of stuff. I've talked about this in a previous wellness check-in and uh, I just got thrown off. Mostly from the diet I was doing. I was doing the keto diet. Uh, that keto diet helped me lose 10 pounds. So now I'm struggling with gaining some of that weight back because I haven't been on the keto diet. I haven't been eating particularly bad, but I also have not been eating well at all. Um, desserts are not my friend. So now I'm struggling with what do I do from here? Well, my husband and I bought a Peloton, so we have been doing that a lot. My butt hurts. When you're riding the Peloton, I don't know if any of you guys have ridden bikes before, but when you're doing it consistently and you're doing it like you are on Peloton, man, your butt hurts. I can't even tell you. No matter the bike uh, pants that you get, the um, seat covers you get, it is just rough. Um, so anyways, aside from all of that, which could turn very dirty, please don't do that. Please don't make this dirty, but we got a Peloton and I have been working out a ton. And so that has been helping me maintain, uh, while I have been, uh, in isolation, while I have not been eating my best, it's been helping me maintain my weight. And so I guess my big takeaway from this is that definitely your diet is the number one factor in uh, gaining and losing weight. For sure, 100% diet is what, at least in my personal life, diet has made me lose weight um, depending on the type of diet that you do. Obviously, low carb is going to be your best bet. That is what the keto diet is, is a low carb diet. A lot of people are struggling right now in how to um, maintain your uh, 
emotional, mental, and physical health while in maybe in isolation. Maybe you have socially distanced yourself. Maybe you are in quarantine. Um, there is something called the seven minute workout that I, I don't, I haven't done it personally, but it's from the New York Times, I believe. And one of my coworkers who was like 70 something years old did that every day and he looked to be in great shape. So I don't know, maybe, maybe he also had a good diet. I don't really know, but he swore by that um, workout and that's a workout that you can do at home. He would do it in the office every single morning. So I'll try to link to that down below. Um, like I said, I have been doing Peloton workouts. So that has really impacted me in a positive way when it comes to self-quarantining, staying in isolation, all that kind of stuff. So Peloton personally has helped me, but I know not everyone can go out and buy a $2,000 uh, stationary bike. I have a bunch of suggestions for you guys and I'm hoping that some of them might or may not be able to help. I'm not sure, but fingers crossed. So some of my tips for you guys is one, hydration. So from working from home, doing things at home, I don't know if you'll notice, but a lot of times it is very easy to get dehydrated and that affects your mental and your physical state. I would suggest always hydrating, um, keeping a, a water hydration tracker with you in your bullet journal, um, keeping a water bottle where you like move the rings or anything like that. Um, maybe you just put tape on it because you can't order anything right now. You can't buy anything new right now. So maybe just putting tape on it. Like I want to drink this much by X amount of time. Every hour I want to drink this much water. Um, so definitely, definitely make sure you are hydrating because it is very, very easy. And this is something that I've learned over the course of working from home for the last four plus years is it is so easy to get dehydrated when at home because you're in a very comfortable place and staring down at the screen or um, just staring at your laptop or anything else like that, it is very easy to get carried away and not hydrate. So please make sure you are hydrating. The second thing I suggest is getting up and moving around. I talked about this in my work from home video. But if you are able to go outside, go outside and go for a long walk. I'm talking 40 minute walk, 30 minute walk. Try to make sure you are spending time outside, breathing in the fresh air. You can still be isolated from yourself and also go for a walk around your neighborhood. If you are self quarantined or you are quarantined where you physically cannot leave your home, try walking around your house. I think Fitbit does this where like every hour it says get 250 steps. You can march in place or something like that. Maybe turn your TV on to YouTube and have one of the like the hiking trail videos. Maybe that will help you kind of marry reality and, and virtual reality, I guess. Uh, because you are trying to make the best from your situation. There's tons of those types of playlists, so I will link them down below. Uh, you can explore hiking trails and biking trails and all that kind of stuff. Peloton does this with uh, like a bunch of scenic trails and stuff. You can do scenic rides or you can do instructor-led rides. Uh, yoga is a really great way to move around. Um, I think I suggested this in the work at home video, but uh, yoga with Adrian is a great channel. I have learned a ton. There's a ton of beginner classes. Uh, the whole month of January, she did a video every single day. So I will link some of those playlists down below that I personally love. So this is something I personally do. Um, I am an introvert. I, I don't typically like people that much. Um, I, I don't enjoy social situations at all. Uh, it kind of makes me very anxious. I do have an anxiety disorder, so it's kind of part of that. I much prefer my company being dogs. But it is very important when you are social distancing that you still have some sort of contact with people. Maybe it's your family, maybe it's your spouse, maybe it's one of your friends, coworkers, something like that. Um, my coworker was in isolation, well, was socially isolated for the last like six days. And she FaceTimed me last night because she was like, I just need to see someone's face. You know, you uh, take for granted those types of mental stressors on yourself. 
So maybe FaceTiming your parents. I did this over the weekend a lot because my mom wanted to see the updates to our bathroom because we were renovating our shower from a ugly, very ugly plastic unit to a tiled shower, which I'll throw up some pictures here because I'm really proud of the work that we did. And it was a great way, if you are looking for home projects, do it while you're in isolation because it was a great way to spend some social distancing time is uh, doing a massive renovation. We're really proud of ourselves. So doing a major project and accomplishing something major, really helpful for the brain, really helpful for my wellness because I was practicing a lot of balance during that time and balance is something that I am not great at. So I just kind of want to wrap this up by saying, new health concerns all over the country, all over the world is stressful. It impacts your wellness. So I just want to extend my hopes, thoughts, fears, and all of my good vibes out to you guys. Uh, just letting you know that you're not alone if you are stressed out. Uh, it's okay to be stressed out. It's okay to have anxiety. I just want to put my vibes out in the world. Hopefully some of what I've said today is helpful for you and uh, your own wellness journey. Okay, so I hope you guys jo enjoyed this a um, little bit different of a video. Uh, you can see how my Peloton stats are going as of right now. I'm trying to also share them on my Instagram story. So tune in there if you want to see more about like what the Peloton app gives you as and output, these are all of um, the major ones, but there's some more that go on with it as well. And uh, then I can kind of track how my progress is going based on how much resistance and cadence. Your total output is like the be all end all, and then calories right after that. The cadence and the resistance help calculate the output. And then down here is my time. So this is going to be 20 minutes, these are 30 minute workouts, 45 minute workouts, and then 60 minute workouts. I think that they also have a couple 90 minute workouts, but I'm not about that. So I'm not going to end up doing that, but that is what this white bar is down here. It's that time. I did it in white because I wanted these colors to stand out a little bit better than they do on the craft um, because they can look kind of similar on the craft. And I really wanted to make sure that I noted um, which was which. So that is for the Peloton spread that I've included for the rest of March. Um, we got ours on the 9th and then I was um, sent home from work on the 10th and I think I'll be home this entire time because uh, we are quarantined until at least April 3rd as of right now and then we'll see what goes on after that. But I thought it would be nice to include this Peloton uh, tracking spread for the rest of the month. And I actually uh, accidentally missed a spread um so that's why I decided to go ahead and do it because I did have an extra page going on anyways so I thought this would be a perfect use for that so thank you guys so much for joining me I hope you guys like this style of video if you did let me know and I will try to do more like this um so thank you guys so much and I will see you next time bye everyone